Hi, welcome to another video. So, recently, a new open source repo called Open Hands has been trending on GitHub, social media, and a lot of other places, and it seems to be topping the SWE bench charts as of now. I don't really trust benchmarks and leaderboards very much, but I wanted to check it out. So, let's do that. Now, Open Hands was previously named Open Devon, and that might ring a bell for many of you because it was launched almost right after the Devon announcement, which is literally not even launched yet. Anyway, Open Hands has evolved a lot more and is now even better than before. Recently, it created a bit more hype when they launched their new Kodak 2.1 agent. Kodak is the agent or agentic framework that Open Hands uses under the hood, which is also developed by them. That's what powers Open Hands, and this agent currently ranks highest on SWE Bench, which is basically a benchmark for coding agents on how easily they can solve real issues that are posted on GitHub. OpenAI also made adjustments to SWE Bench and made it more reliable by improving the test suite and called it SWE Bench Verified. Now, obviously, it tops these leaderboards by using the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model as it's the best one, and Claude on its own with tools scores 49, and Open Hand scores only 4% higher. So, it's not that big of an improvement. I believe even Klein could probably score the same, if not higher. I believe Ader and Klein should also just run it through this because I think those will also be similar, if not higher. Anyway, you don't need to think about these leaderboards because they're just hype makers and nothing much. But just for fun, I wanted to see how usable OpenDevon is, and if we can use it to generate some good applications with it or not and how easy it is to use. So, let's get started and get it installed. First of all, go to the Open Hands repo. Now, you'll need to have Docker installed because it is Dockerized and uses Docker to run the containers. Just get Docker installed by going to Docker's site and downloading it. Then follow the on-screen instructions and it should get installed. Once you have Docker installed, just go to the Open Devon repo, and first of all, run this Docker command, which will clone the Docker container image on your computer. This will take a bit, because it's like 3 or 4 gigs. Once that's done, you'll need to run these commands, which will take that image you just cloned and run it. This also takes a bit of time, so just wait. And once you have done that, it will get started and you can see it in Docker Desktop. It will generally be started on port 3000, and you can also stop or start the container from here as well. Now, just go over to localhost and port 3000. Once you do that, it will ask you to set up a provider you want to use. There are a ton of providers that you can configure here. The best one is the Claude 3.5 Sonnet because that works the best, and that's what tops the charts. But many of you might want to use the free providers like me. Well, then you can use Gemini, XAI's free credits, or Mistral and Codistral as well. But we all want to use those free GPT-4.0 models from GitHub. So, to do that, just get the API key, and once you have it, just select OpenAI, then enter the model name like this, along with the base URL like this, and also enter the API key. Once you do that, you can start using it. So, it's a pretty simple layout. You'll see the sidebar here, where you can change your provider and everything. But here, you have the text box where you can describe your task, and it can get started as needed. You can also attach images if needed. You can also open a repo here, and you can also import a project here as well by using an archive, which should also be kind of cool. But let's see how good it is. So, let's start with something simple. Let's ask it to make a finance tracker app using Next.js. 
This will tell us if it can create a Next.js app and then create files or not. Okay, it's doing that now. So, it didn't work. It just got stuck on creating the project itself and wasn't progressing. So, I had to manually stop it. It's not good at all as of now. Now let's try with something more basic. Let's ask it to make a finance tracker app using HTML, CSS, and JS, because it should be able to do that at least. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. It's done now. So, it did it, but it wasn't stopping. It just wanted to test it recursively, which kept happening like ten times in a row. It did it, and you can edit the code and use the terminal as well. The browser option is here, and you can see the application, but it's just an image. So, you can't interact with the generated application which I don't understand why it's like this. But it's just an image, so there's that. But you can edit and stuff, and you can also download the project as a zip file and sync it with a GitHub repo if you want. So let's just run it from the zip file. Okay, this is what it looks like. If we run it, then you can see that this looks pretty good. I mean, it did what we asked it to do, and it's pretty complete, but I could actually make it with Klein or Ader as well, and I didn't have to do all this download, unzip, and everything, and it could make a whole Next.js app as well, without wasting a bunch of tokens. But, I mean, it's fine, but it seems like Klein and Ader are just too far ahead of this, and would cost a lot less than this. Another thing that I tried with it is creating an application that scrapes a web page, and it failed to do so as well. And for some reason, it likes to test stuff and just gets stuck at testing, which it doesn't get out of. So, I have to stop it always. And if you're wondering, yes, I used Claude in all the tests, and it was still failing. I can easily get some great results with Klein. So, I don't know why it's getting a lot of hype and trending on GitHub. I mean, I think that things that look cool get more hype rather than things that are usable, which is also what happened with CoFounder. So, it's just that I don't get why anyone would want to use this over other great options that are already available. Maybe it will get better someday, but it's not yet usable, at least for me. So, overall, it's not so cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.